Hope this video doesn't go tango uniform. Being a member of the military isn't just about following orders and staying in line, it's also about building friendships and having a unique form of communication. From comical nicknames to witty phrases to acronym words that are often only understood by those who serve, military slang is an essential part of a soldier's life. So why not have some fun with it? After all, as the old saying goes, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So let's take some time to explore the world of military slang and all its humorous wonders. You know, I've always been curious about where I come from. My family history was like a puzzle waiting to be solved. So when my heritage reached out for a partnership, we jumped on board. Because what better way to uncover our roots than with the leading global service for family history research and DNA testing? Here's the exciting part. It's so easy to start piecing together your family tree. Just like this, I added myself and got a photo to get things started. Check out my tree. With over 10 members already, every name, every face represents a part of my history that I now can explore. And the best part? My heritage has a repository of more than 19 billion historical records that I can sift through. Let's talk about instant discoveries. This is a cool feature that allows you to add the whole branch of your tree with a click of a button. Over the past few weeks, I've found old documents, photos, and even distant relatives I never knew I had. Look at this old black and white photo I found. Watch how I can repair, colorize, enhance, and even animate it using my heritage. I shared some of these discoveries with my family and their reactions were priceless. It's like stepping into a time machine. Overall, my experience with MyHeritage has been enlightening, surprising, and even pretty fun. It's amazing to have all this at your fingertips. So why not start your own journey of discovery? Sign up for a 14-day free trial and enjoy all the amazing features MyHeritage has to offer. And if you decide to continue your subscription, you'll get a 50% discount. Check the link at the top of the description box or the first pinned comment. Remember, your family history is just waiting to be discovered. So go on, take the first step with MyHeritage. The NATO Phonetic Alphabet, also known as the International Radio Telephony Spelling Alphabet, or ICAO Phonetic Alphabet, is an internationally accepted set of 26 code words used to represent each letter of the Roman alphabet. The code words are chosen to be easily distinguishable from each other in order to facilitate clear communication over radio and telephone transmissions despite language barriers and poor connection quality. The code words were first developed by international agencies in 1956, following extensive scientific testing to ensure English, French, and Spanish speakers could easily understand them. Each word is acrophonically assigned to a letter of the Roman alphabet. For example, Alpha is assigned to A, Bravo is assigned to B, and Charlie is assigned to C. However, members of the armed forces have found clever ways to use the NATO phonetic alphabet to create creative and vulgar terms of expressions. For example, Alpha Charlie is an expression used to explain when someone has been severely verbally reprimanded or had their butt chewed out in simple terms. A soldier might say his friend got an Alpha Charlie for falling asleep while on guard duty. Another creative expression from the NATO alphabet is Tango Uniform, which means something has fallen apart and gone pear-shaped. Soldiers are masters at creating ingenious and hilarious slang expressions that anyone can adopt. Remember to keep up with your knowledge of military slang and avoid getting any Alpha Charlies. On the battlefield, communication is vital. Soldiers need to be able to understand orders and communicate with their teammates quickly. Therefore, many cool slang expressions have been created to describe certain actions on the battlefield. For example, bag your bandit. This is a phrase used to describe shooting an enemy down. It can be used in any military context where a soldier has identified an enemy and must take them out. This phrase is often heard on the battlefield as it's a quick way for soldiers to communicate their orders without having to explain the full details of what they're doing. Another term is Barney style, which refers to explaining an order in straightforward terms. It comes from the children's show Barney and Friends where adults would speak in simpler terms so that kids could understand them better. In the military context, it means giving orders that are easy to understand and don't require much explanation or detail beyond what is necessary for soldiers to carry out their mission effectively and efficiently. A dust-off is when medical personnel are sent via helicopter during times of emergency, 
Usually when someone needs urgent medical attention or evacuation from a dangerous area or situation. The term dust off was actually coined during the Vietnam War by UH-1 helicopters which were used in medical evacuations and had distinct markings, which made them easily identifiable from other helicopters on the battlefield, thus earning them the nickname among service members. Field Ops is a shortened way to say Field Operations, or Field Op, and describes an exercise conducted by members of a military unit outside of garrisoned areas for training purposes or other operations as ordered by commanding officers. Field ops are typically conducted over several days with multiple objectives that must be accomplished before returning back home or base camp, with all members accounted for safely and successfully completing their missions. Most people know this next one. Hang fire, which is when someone wants you to wait until further orders come through before performing whatever task was previously assigned to you. This can also refer more generally to waiting out something until conditions change either positively or negatively before proceeding any further with whatever course of action has been determined beforehand. Military slang can be a fun way to learn about the equipment used by members of the armed forces, as soldiers have come up with their own words for just about every piece of equipment under the sun. For example, bang bang is a term used to describe a military-issued rifle or pistol, and Jammin' Jenny is slang for an M16 rifle. John Wayne is another funny name, given to the can opener issued with rations. For those in need of some new shoes, there are leather personnel carriers, otherwise known as boots. And when it comes time to freshen up after being out in the field, why not take a shower in your very own rain locker? When it comes to decorations and awards on uniforms, there's chest candy which refers to medals and ribbons worn on an officer's dress uniform. Or if you're looking for something extra flashy, then you might want some scrambled eggs, which are gold decorations that go across the bill of a US Navy officer's hat. There's also something known as fruit salad, which is an assortment of military ribbons and medals on an officer's dress uniform. Because who doesn't love fruit salad? Finally, let's not forget about awards given during boot camp. These include things such as the Firewatch Ribbon, National Defense Service Medal, or Good Cookie, Good Conduct Medal. So if you're ever stuck trying to think of what all those pieces of equipment are, just remember this list. It'll help make sense of it all. Getting a nickname in school is something everyone has experience with, whether it was a term of endearment or a name that played on your biggest insecurity. Nicknames are hard to shake off. In the military, the same is true as certain personnel have earned their nicknames through various good and sometimes bad reputations. Bolo is a term for someone who can't pass marksmanship training, while boot refers to a recruit still in boot camp. The US Marine Corps have adopted the nickname Devil Dog for their members, and the term FNG, or effing new guy, has become ubiquitous across all branches of the military. The Navy has their own unique terms as well. Grape refers to someone who refuels aircraft, while a sailor who hasn't crossed the equator yet is referred to as a polywog. The Coast Guard calls enlisted members puddle pirates, and pilots or other servicemen who fly aircraft are known as zoomies. For those serving on the front lines, there are plenty of tongue-in-cheek nicknames too. An infantryman in either branch is called a grunt, whereas desk work soldiers serving with the Marines are dubbed Remington Raiders. Those unlucky enough to be injured in combat may be referred to as an expectant. On top of that, there's also terms like leatherneck for marines, jeep for soldiers just out of basic training, oxygen thief recruits that talk too much, and twidget someone who repairs electronic equipment. No matter what branch you serve in, or even if you haven't served at all, it's undeniable that military slang for people provides plenty of entertainment value. While some may seem negative or crass at first glance, it can also be seen as showing respect among service members. After all, if you don't give your comrades nicknames, then how else will they know they're part of your team? Military slang is a unique form of communication among service members that conveys information and builds camaraderie in an efficient and entertaining way. It has also developed over time to reflect the changing technology, roles, and missions within the military. 
The NATO phonetic alphabet is just one example of how important it is for service members to be able to understand each other's orders quickly and clearly during times of crisis. Additionally, terms like bag your bandit, dust off, field ops, hang fire, and Barney style have become critical elements of military lingo that enable soldiers to respond quickly and effectively on the battlefield. Nicknames such as Bolo or Boot create a sense of belonging within the ranks while showing respect for one another in a humorous way. Finally, funny phrases like leather personnel carriers or scrambled eggs help make light of difficult situations while still being informative about equipment issued by the military. All these terms show us that communication among service members is not only vital, but also creative even when faced with danger or stress in an unfamiliar environment. Therefore, understanding this language can provide insight into what it means to be part of a team on active duty, something that should never be taken lightly or overlooked when considering our brave men and women who are willing to sacrifice everything for our safety and freedom.